hello and welcome back to my channel for another video if this is your first time here hi hello my name is darlene i am 30 years old and i currently live in san antonio texas with my husband and my two dogs for today's video i am so excited i'm gonna be doing my first ever like bookstore book shopping vlog type of video a little bit of context with me and my reading journey i am a very new reader i'm 30 years old I'm actually in my third book yes my third book which is crazy for me to even say that i was just like never a reader growing up i read books like for school that i had to read but i was never into books i never really like cared that much about it i was just somebody who would read but my mind would wonder because i just wasn't like resonating with the words or just didn't catch my attention but i just never fully found a book that i was like this this is amazing and I just like read it and I just like fell in love with it probably actually only Twilight I did read all the Twilight books literally in three days over Thanksgiving break one year that was different because I love Twilight in general but about two three months ago something came over me and I think it honestly was a big thank you to like TikTok and really book talk because I kept seeing like book talk videos on my for you page and I would always scroll past it or click like not interested because I just was like reading is just like not for me it's not something I want to do but the videos kept popping up on my for you page and of course all of Colleen Hoover's books were popping up so that's really like what got me interested in the first place but I was at Target one day and I passed by the book section and I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy a book and I'm gonna read it and my first book ever reading was Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover and I actually loved this book so much I will say that this book was kind of like a slow burn for me it took me like two weeks to get through the first like four chapters but once I passed like the third or fourth chapter I finished the book in a matter of like I don't even know like three or four days I know that there's people who actually like love this book or hate it I actually loved it and I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of this video Video. that's just a little bit of context with me and my reading journey i am really enjoying reading i'm on my third book which is verity and i think i'm on like the seventh chapter and it is really good so far but as for today's vlog we are going to be going to a few different like independent bookstores there's a bookstore called nowhere bookshop which i actually went to in like two vlogs before this one that's where i purchased verity and then i also want to go to twig bookstore which is inside the pearl and then maybe like a half price bookstore i kind of wanted to do like a barnes and noble i don't really have like a big list of books that i want to buy i really want to get happy place by emily henry so i'm thinking about getting that one and just like any other books that just call my name i think we're also going to get coffee maybe get lunch so let's go So I just left Half Price Bookstore. I ended up getting this book. It's the only book I got. It's called Good Girl Complex by Elle Kennedy. I haven't read any of her books. The only author I've read so far is Colleen Hoover. This was $8.49 and I looked it up on TikTok really quickly because I haven't heard of this book or this author because I don't know, I'm a new reader. But it said it was a mixture of like Outer Banks meets Gilmore Girls and Matthew and I love Outer Banks. It's like one of our favorite shows. So I'm excited to read this one. We also just got to the Pearl here in San Antonio. There's a bookstore called Twigs. We're gonna go see what they have at this store. on my list. Matthew's also body back there, so we're gonna go to Nowhere Bookshop next. Thank you. 
we are finally back home from book shopping it was so hot today it's currently let me just see how hot it is in texas today 103 degrees yeah so i am a little pooped i'm a little sweaty but let's go through this little book haul it is very very small it's probably like the saddest book haul ever i did get two books today and i'm really excited the first book i got was from half price bookstore and it's called good girl complex i looked it up really quickly on tiktok while i was in there first of all the back just like kind of got my attention but when i went to go look up this book it said it was like a mixture of like outer banks meets a gilmore girls and outer banks is my husband and i well, one of our like favorite tv shows ever we just love the show so much and this was actually like 8.49 which is like a pretty good deal and it's like honestly in like fantastic condition so i'm excited about this book i feel like after reading verity i'm gonna want something a little bit like more like light-hearted and just like fun after going to half price books we went to a bookstore called twig and if i'm being completely honest you guys like i went in there and i didn't see like any books that got my attention or that I just like needed so we ended up passing that we did walk around it's a cute little bookstore if you're in San Antonio and you want to go check it out it's next to Bakery Lorraine which has like the best macaroons their lunch is delicious there's also a local coffee right next door so if you want to go like get a coffee look at the books read a book it's a really cool place to kind of just like be around after we left Twig we went to a bookstore called Nowhere Bookshop that was the last stop for the day and they did have Happy Place by Emily Henry I don't know if it's just like me maybe because I'm like a new reader but they only have hardcover books of that one and I also have learned that they don't release paperback books until like a year after the hardcover is like published correct me if I'm wrong because like I said I am very new to reading I feel like I only want paperback books I don't know why I feel that way but I just like I just think a hardcover is like not as cozy I don't know if that makes sense or if I'm still thinking about it in like a couple weeks I might go back and get it but I did buy a different book it's completely opposite but I got local woman missing I actually saw this book from Bianca Henderson I love watching her vlogs and she mentioned that this was a really good book if you have read this let me know your thoughts down in the comments as well okay so these two books are my most recent reads i didn't buy these today but i did want to talk about them because i mentioned in my previous vlog that i was going to talk about november 9th and i have strong opinions about this book. okay so ugly love let's talk about it really quick i know people either love this book or hate it because they have their opinions on tate and also if you haven't read this book spoiler alert i'm going to talk about it right now so you may want to skip a little bit forward but this book i love so much and i think it's because it was like my first book as an adult that i read all the way through and i just think i'll always have a special place with ugly love but the thing about ugly love is i can actually relate to tate a lot my husband and i and one day we'll talk about like our whole like love story but we kind of went through something similar to what like her and miles did and i saw a couple of reviews on tiktok saying like i was so triggered because it reminded me of like my past i will say i was like a little bit triggered by it when i first started telling my husband about the book he was kind of a little bit like um well, I just hope that there's a happy ending because obviously we made it out of that toxic phase. We've gone through our share of breakups and all that kind of stuff before we got married. But he was like, I just hope that there's a happy ending. Again, spoiler alert, there is a very good happy ending, which I loved. So because I read this book, we're going to go into the next one, November 9th. This book, I have very strong opinions this was the book that everyone was like i love this book this is the best calling hoover book i strongly disliked this book i could not stand ben this book is just like so unrealistic and i understand that this book is fiction but it just like got me so upset like ben and none of this needed to happen and i feel like he only loved fallon out of like guilt or almost like obligation and it just like I just I didn't really like it like I feel like towards the end once I read Ben's second letter to Fallon I was like okay I like Ben now I can understand it but I'm like hold on like he was literally the reason why and another thing I totally called the thing that happens like in the beginning because I could just sense like how he was like trying to like make her feel like beautiful and like wanting her like confidence to shine like he was like pushing so much because he felt guilty you know so I just did not like this book it was so unrealistic and I just I didn't like it. I feel like you either love this one and hate this one or hate this one and love this one. So maybe that's what I'm at. The only reason why I liked this book and I can give it like maybe a, 
like a three out of ten is honestly because of Tate and Miles are featured in this book and so is Ian and that was like great to read. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. This was my first ever like bookstore book shopping vlog and I love this so much. If you have any books you want me to read let me know in the comments down below or if you've read these books let me know your thoughts on them. Please don't leave any spoilers but just let me know your thoughts. But I'm actually headed out the door right now. I'm going to a movie premiere for the new Barbie movie and I'm so excited. I literally have to leave like in 30 minutes maybe even like 15 minutes and i don't even have an outfit yet so i have to find something to wear in my closet if you guys are not following me on instagram or tiktok give me a follow my handles are the same across all social media platforms you can find me at darlene marie davila thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in my next one bye